Hey guys, welcome in to the playoffs here on the Sharks Pacific Cup presented by WD Black. I am No Sleeves, joined by my good man, Nico Cartarelli, and we are here to start off the playoffs with a bang with a fantastic first round match. And before we get into all that, Nico, how you doing, man? Are you amped? You pumped? Oh, absolutely, brother. I am jacked. I'm ready to go. We're going to have an amazing night of playoff action here at the Sharks Pacific Cup presented by WD Black, hosted by Lee Gaming. You know, I think back to the start of the regular season, we had 110 teams start this tournament, battling it out for $25,000. And Sleeves, I can't believe it, but we're down to the final 32, and we're about to get the playoff action underway. I can't wait. We have got a fantastic matchup, guys. But before we get into tonight's matchup, let's take a look at the bracket. And we had one heck of a draft. In this playoff, number one got to pick whoever they got to play. They didn't just get um, you know, saddled with 32. They got to pick whoever. So here are the results from our draft for the first round. So starting up at the top, I'll just run through it quickly. Olympia shows Reckless Legends. That was a 1 versus 32. And then you see on the other side, Cohesion finishing second. They took gen the Generals, which again was a 2 versus 31. And then it just kind of went all over the place after that. So we've got Entourage at 8. They picked Overpowered. We had Hidden Potential take the Night Shift a little bit later on. We had Composure select Dynasty. We had Cobra Kai select True North with a little bit of revenge on their mind. And we'll get into that in a little bit later. We had Vertigo select Pressure. Canadians Esports, they took, they chose to take on Instinct uh, as well on the other side. We've got Nemesis. They chose Freedom. Uh, BBB selected Centrum. Day one was, uh, they, their choice was LFG. Royalty took the Bad Kids. Denial selected Ice. Nationals selected Kangaroo Court, who had a magical last night to make the playoffs. Uh, and then Prodigy, they took Cash 22. The one I did not mention was who we are going to cover tonight. Number 16, they were the last pick. They didn't really get to choose. They were stuck with whoever was left over. And that was number 28, Ground and Pound. We are going to see Eclipse versus Ground and Pound. Pretty crazy when you look at the standings here. Ground and Pound obviously didn't have a great finish to the season. So that took a hit in their standings. And even though they finished 28th, Eclipse had them at 16 there so i mean you know uh, that was that was pretty that was pretty crazy that number 28 wasn't selected i mean number 17 went well ahead of them um so that's pretty interesting to see so guys we will see the first four games of their series tonight so maybe there's a sweep i have a feeling there won't be but there is potential for that we could have the series over in one this is my most favorite part of NHL esports. Six is biggies. When something is on the line, there is nothing like it. Uh, let's, Nico, quickly break down the rosters and the squadrons. So we'll start with ground and pound. Walk us through uh, the graphic here, the projected lineup and all that. Tell us what we're looking at for ground and pound. Yeah, absolutely. So as you mentioned, ground and pound finished the regular season in 28th place, qualifying for the playoffs, a strong record of 23 wins, 17 losses. Their leading scorer on the team was Delta Slays. He led the way with 49 goals and 96 points in 40 games played. But ground and pound are actually coming into the playoffs on a three-game losing streak. So they're going to have to try get refocused and composed here. Uh, as they've got a tough first round matchup against Eclipse. Now, these two teams did not play against each other head to head in the regular season. This is the first time they'll be matching up against each other. But there are some notable stats and things to keep an eye on within this series. And I want to start focusing in on Nasty, the centerman for ground and pound. If you remember during our feature broadcast earlier in the season, we actually highlighted ground and pound on one of the weeks, and Nasty really led the way for them offensively. And they're going to need him to do that in this game as well because Eclipse are the top-ranked scoring team in terms of goals for in the Sharks Pacific Cup. So they've got to take advantage of their chances, but even more so, ground and pound have to play solid defensively one of their achilles heels is turnovers i've got an interesting stat that we'll get to throughout the broadcast tonight but keep an eye on the three forwards for ground and pound and how often they turn over the puck if they can be a little more careful with puck possession and keep it within themselves they may be able to pull off an upset here against eclipse in this opening series two great goaltenders going at it as well sorokin 
uh, between the pipes for ground and pound. He played 36 of the 40 games, picking up 20 wins, a nice 291 goals against average, and a 743 save percentage. So those numbers definitely good enough to give his team a chance to win on most nights. No, absolutely, man. They are going to be uh, a great team to watch. I think this is going to be one of the closer series. And let's take a look quickly at Eclipse going into this. So you mentioned they are the highest scoring team. There has, there is, I, I don't know if I've seen this. Gilly had 130 points, basically led the season from the start of the first night all the way to the end. Rick Chell came in second on his team with 92. That's almost a 40-point different when they all played games. They all played basically the same amount of games. That is just absolutely insane. Gilly did an unbelievable job, and he is going to be the one to watch in this entire series. And then on the back end, something a little bit more interesting to watch for Eclipse. Stammer is checking in for Burt. Burt had an extremely good regular season, is honestly in contention for the Norris, or the best defender of the tournament. He's not in tonight. It is Stammer replacing him, and Skills is moving over to right defense where he normally played left defense. It was a really, really good defensive core for Skills and Burt in the regular season. So we're going to have to see if Stammer can fill in in the biggest games of the regular season. But yeah, as you mentioned, the, the offensive onslaught from Eclipse was incredible, but they struggled in the middle of the season. Um, were able to right the ship and get back on, you know, on track later on in the year. But it's, it's going to be great to watch. We've got two, you know, a really dynamic forward group. Um, ground and Pound as well did very well. Um, part of their team played in the Caps 3v3 Gaming Showcase a little bit earlier on uh, in the month. And they did fantastic, made the top four in that event. And, uh, you know, I, I'm actually I'm super excited to see how they go on. They actually did really well as well in another Sixes event um, just last weekend. That included Olympia and Composure, I believe. So great job all around by Ground Pound. I'm excited to see how they do. Um, but we are almost set for game number one. Ground and Pound is searching. So Eclipse, you can go ahead. <clears throat> You can go ahead and search as well as we get all teed up for this first series. And uh, throughout, guys, I see all the exclamation mark giveaways in the chat. You guys are used to it. WD Black giving away a great prize pack every single night throughout this regular season. No different tonight. So make sure uh, that you uh, hit exclamation mark giveaway in the chat after our last game. We will pull that giveaway as usual. And, uh, man, I just can't wait. What's your what's your prediction in this series? What, what are you thinking? Well, you know, I think, like you alluded to, this is probably going to be one of the closest, best contested first round series that we see in round one of the playoffs in the Sharks Pacific Cup. If you're putting me on the spot, I think Eclipse will take this series. I don't think we're going to see it wrapped up tonight. By no means am I anticipating a sweep. In fact, I think this could very well go six, maybe even the full length of seven games. I do think Eclipse will take it, so I'm going to give them a 4-2 or a 4-3 series win. I'm, I'm, I'm on board with you as well. I think Eclipse will win this series. However, I think that Ground and Pound needs to win the first one of the first two. They can't go down 0-2 against this team. I think you know they've got a lot of veteran players that have done fantastic in sixes in a, for, for a very long time. And, you know, again, the offense for Eclipse is just continuous. So if they get down and they have to win four straight or, you know, four or five, I just don't see that possible. If Ground and Pound can take one of the first two, I think we're in for a long, long series, guys. We are all set. Let's go with game number one of the Sharks Pacific Cup playoffs. It is Eclipse versus Ground and Pound as the gameplay is about to get underway. Here we go, guys. It is going to be a great night. Me and Nico with you here for the whole thing. If we don't get through four, then uh, we'll have to move on to tomorrow and we'll continue the series then. As here we go, we might have to switch. As that is a great in er, entrance there. That is nasty. <laughs> that is an awesome entrance. As I we'll, definitely have not unlocked that levitation entrance yet, but that is pretty sweet. <laughs> as there's no game volume for this one, we might have to switch over to the other stream. But uh, if you can hear me nasty, switch that over to game sound. But we're underway, boys. All right, so here we go. Opening puck drop in this opening playoff round between ground and pound in the white jerseys, taking on Eclipse wearing the Swedish blue and yellow. As you're tuned in to the Sharks Pacific Cup presented by WD Black and hosted by Lee Gaming. My name is Nico Cartarelli, joined alongside alongside Cam No Sleeves Halbert as ground and pound moving the puck here in the offensive zone. 
stepping in from the point to try take that one in was Covey as he tries to work his way in front. But here goes Eclipse on the breakout. Giroux, he makes the pass ahead as Rick Chell starts to work ahead. Makes the pass through. Oh, right in front. Good chance. Sorokin there with the first save of the game for ground and pound. Big start there is, again, a nice save for Sorokin. Clips, again, they're going to have a lot of flashy off-the-rush moves. Again, Gilly, he is going to be all over the place. Gilly leading the Sharks Pacific Cup during the regular season in points. 130 points in 40 games played. And there's a great one-timer chance for Rick Chell, but that time it's blocker to side by Sorokin. Here goes ground and pound. As bringing it up, shot right on Kernsey with the initial save. It's loose as Spars was digging away for it, but Kernsey holds it for the faceoff. Big save as well for Kernsey. Kernsey's going to have to play, you know, at the top of his game in this series as well as the three forwards up front are going to have a lot of give and goes, especially down low. I know Delta and Nasty have great chemistry. Again, I saw it on display in the 3v3 event. Eclipse working the puck across the line into the attacking zone. Tried to feed it through the slot. That's broken up, and now it's controlled by Kovalchuk as he brings it ahead. Makes the pass up for Delta. Delta slays from the faceoff dot. Shot right on and into the glove hand of Kernsey. Another big save. This is end-to-end. -end. There's no zone. There's no, no defense on the blue line. These Both these teams able to get into the zone easily. And, uh, and a couple of big saves early for these goaltenders. Yeah, they're playing pretty wide open to start. We'll see if things tighten up or if they continue to trade chances as ground and pound working the puck in the offensive zone. Graz to Kovalchuk, the D-to-D -D one-timer goes off a leg and wide, and now it's Skills pay the bills, carrying it up for Eclipse. Skills makes the pass ahead for Giroux, gets pass one. Gilly back oh. in front, Sorokin with the save. Loose puck controlled by Rick Chell as he plays it around the boards for Gilly. Gilly looking for an option, circles around the face-off dot, evades the check from Delta Slays, plays it down low as it goes around the boards out to the top of the point where Stammer has it. His shot, that one blocked down as Gilly came up with it in front of the net, but he was bodied off the puck, and now here goes ground and pound. Delta Slays, he makes the pass back to Graz, tried to feed it ahead, but it's broken up, and now Eclipse back in the attacking zone. Is that the point? Stammer. Spins around with the puck in the zone. He's checked closely by Delta. Tried to make the pass to Skills, but it's off the mark, and they'll start up again inside their own zone. As you're tuned into the Sharks Pacific Cup, presented by WD Black, hosted by Lee Gaming, it's our opening night of the playoffs as we're t watching the best of seven series here between Ground and Pound and Eclipse. As Ground and Pound fight for zone possession, that shot from Spars goes wide. Loose puck collected by Skills. He gives it away. Delta shot. That one blocked as well by Giroux. Skills pay bills. He makes a quick lead pass through center ice where it's stripped away as Nasty comes up with it. Nasty makes the pass over for Delta as they try gain the zone. Covey, he brings it ahead. Sidesteps the first hit. Still with the puck. Covey tries to drive the net, but that's blocked out by Stammer. Stammer only appearing in eight games in the regular season for Eclipse, but... He's looking pretty good on the blue line so far. They're offside there, but, man, a quick first period as they have just been all over the offensive zone. Not very, very little time spent in the middle part of the ice as they've done a great job entering the zone. Both teams have. Here we go again. Rick Chell brings the puck into the zone, looking for an option. That shot high and wide. Gilly picks up the rebound, plays it over to Giroux. Top of the point for Stammer. He pinches into the faceoff dot, tries to force one through. It's off a leg and behind the net. It's collected by Graz as Kovalchuk leads the breakout for Eclipse with 2.20 remaining in the first. From the wrong side of center ice, he fires it in. Icing waved off. Good job there by Delta to beat it out. Kovi at the point. His shot. Big rebound, but Spars unable to get a second clean shot on net. Giroux, he takes it ahead. One minute remaining in the first. His pass off the mark. Graz flips it over to Delta. Delta slays looking for an option. Picks one out in Nasty. Nasty muscles his way across the line. Delta back to the point. Covey, Graz, eight seconds left. D to D, one-timer gets saved. Four seconds as Skills collects it. And that'll do it for the opening period. Teams trading chances, but both goaltenders sharp as after one, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. 
A great job again by both goaltenders. Four to three of the shots on goal for ground and pound. Soro or sorry, uh, uh, Sorokin had to make a, a especially a very very good one on Giroux in the middle part of that. But again, the time on attack. They have high, high time on attack numbers for for a period alone. Again, very little was spent on the breakout. A lot of it was just one pass into the zone and then go go to work on offense. But zero zero so far. Both goaltenders up to the task and. You know, we'll have to wait and see. I think power plays are going to be big in this one if they are able to draw any. That'll be something to keep an eye on as Eclipse are significantly more effective on the special teams, and that could be a series-tilting advantage. As we get ready for the second period of play here, you're tuned into the Shark Pacific Cup presented by WD Black and hosted by Lee Gaming. We start the second period between ground and pound and Eclipse with a 0-0 scoreline as Eclipse tried to bring it in, but here goes Delta Slays. He's off to the races. Nasty drives wide. Delta shot right on. Good glove save by Kernsey as he was calm, cool, and collected on that two-on-one. Didn't bite on that short side wrist. Or we've seen it so much in NHL 21. The ability for these wingers to just pick corners and Kernsey up to the task on that one. Stayed right with the shooter. Never bit and made a confident save on the glove side nasty sets up the one-timer what a blast from Graz! an even better save from kernsey and kerns came to play tonight as another wide open one-timer from the point ground and pound starting to try and get to just just get things towards the net not a bad bat not a bad idea in the first round of the playoffs just to try and get on the lead oh oh egregious turnover as spars couldn't bury it he was all alone kernsey bailing his team out once again and now here goes Eclipse on the attack. Gilly looking for an option. Cuts right in. That shot goes wide. Blocker side. Covey, he picks it up. Makes the pass ahead for Delta. He gains the zone. Delta slays looking for an option. Shot right on. Big rebound after the initial save by Kernsey. And then Skills, he'll just send it down the ice for an icing to clear the pressure. Ground and pound looks a lot better in this second period as they're starting to get some chances on that turnover in front. It looks like he was just queuing up to bump him off the puck again, but he actually got possession and fired one at the net. Kernsey in 40 games this season, picking up 26 wins, a 232 goals against average, a 791 save percentage, and four shutouts. He was solid all season for clips. As here go ground and pound out of their own zone, led by Nasty. They'll have to start up as Graz picks it up behind his own net, plays it over to Kovalchuk. 13 minutes remaining in the period. Omaha play. Delta gets to it first. Looking for an option in front. He has Spars. Back to the point. Kovey's shot. That gets blocked. And now here go Eclipse as Rick Chell brings the puck across center ice. Picked up now by Stammer. The defenseman backing him up. His pocket picked. And now Delta brings it into the zone. He's hit off the puck, but Graz backs him up. Shot right on. Good save by Kernsey, and he'll hold that for the faceoff. Kearns with a big save there. Not a bad. Again, he's he's keeping Eclipse in it right now. I think that ground and pound, if they can't get one soon, they're going to give up a rush at some point to this team. And, uh, you know, they've got to take advantage of these chances in the second period because it's been all ground and pound so far in the second period. Yeah, absolutely. The ice definitely tilted towards... The Eclipse end as ground and pound have had the pace of play and the majority of chances here in the second period. As we've got 9.45 remaining in the second, you're tuned into the Sharks Pacific Cup presented by WD Black and hosted by Lee Gaming. Loose puck corralled as it's Spars who brings it ahead, but picked off his stick by Gilly. He makes the pass to his defenseman, Skills, who gets clobbered, and now Delta streaks away with the puck. Nasty going to the net. Delta tried to drop it back to Graz, but... The pass off the mark, and ground and pound will start up from inside their own zone. Graz, the puck carrier. He'll flip it softly into the far corner, giving Chase's stammer as he picks it up for Eclipse. Rick Chell, he tried to streak away. Check that. That was Giroux. Actually, no, it was Rick Chell, and now Rick Chell picks the pocket and gets it back for Eclipse. As Gilly hits center ice, dangling with the puck, and he'll just dump it off to his defenseman with 540 left in the second period of gameplay. Still scoreless in this opening game of this best of seven round one playoff series as we get an offside with 505 left. Quick first game here as we're already late into the second period. Still nothing on the board. First game, little nerves, little grip in the stick, a little bit too hard. I think ground pounds had some opportunities to shoot, and they've been holding on to it, looking for that extra pass a little too often when they've gotten those chances of in uh, in tight. That's a great point, and we'll see if they opt to just put a few more on that or continue to 
preach patience and wait for the perfect play. Right now, it's Kovalchuk at the point. Looking for an option. Dishes off. Delta, the one-timer! There it is! Ground and pound. Stay with it. And Delta slays. Gets them on the board. one nothing for ground and pound. Let an absolute bomb go from Delta. And he's able to beat Kearns upstairs finally. Uh, as again, ground and pound with an impressive second period here and they're going to be on the board first one to nothing in this series and uh, again the uh, one of the only underdogs leading in their first round series so far but it is still real early ground and pound out shooting a clip seven nothing here in the period as Covey chops at the puck it's picked up only for a moment. Now Eclipse with it as Gilly plays it back to the point. That shot never made its way through. There it is. Rick Chell equalizes. Giroux sets him up, and Rick Chell buries it. And just like that, we're all tied again. Ricky sticks. Now he spawns in. All right, we got ourselves a game. Now we're starting to see some offense from these guys. Again, both of these teams capable of putting up a huge goal total. So uh, not surprising here. 1-1 one, one now as Ricky gets on the board. Rick Chell picking up 51 goals in the regular season. Delta Slays, who got the goal for ground and pound, 49 in the regular season. So both of those guys with the ability to light the lamp. But here goes Nasty with 10 seconds remaining in the period. Nasty picks up the loose puck, poked away. Nice defending there by Eclipse. Long stretch pass picked off by Kovey. And after two periods of play, we're still all square. 1-1 one, one between Eclipse and ground and pound. Uh, shots 10 shots to four and it, again the time on attack it was, it was skewed further in the in the it's now even it was skewed much further for eclipse about a minute and a half advantage in that first period so that second period kind of translates as now it's almost dead even and ground and pound again you see it there 10 shots to four they're starting to just try and rip everything on delta getting on the board first for them but rick big answer goal to keep things close going into this third period as we are just moments away from the third period getting underway, you're tuned in to the Sharks Pacific Cup presented by WD Black and hosted by Lee Gaming. And here we go. Third period of play now underway in game number one of this best of seven opening round playoff series. And it's Eclipse bringing the puck ahead into the zone. Giroux looking for an option, spins away from his man, plays it back to the point. The one-timer, that one off a leg and wide. As Eclipse pressing here to start the third. Now it's picked up by Nasty. He makes the pass ahead for Spars. Spars breaking in. Takes the chance. Big save by Kernsey. Here goes Eclipse right back the other way. Gilly, the puck carrier, tries to feed it ahead for Rick Chell. Now it's controlled by Nasty. Spars dumps it over to Delta. Delta approaching the blue line. Brings it in but has his pocket pick. And now here go Eclipse out of their own zone. Skills. Makes the move at the blue line. Tries to feed it ahead for Gilly. He's pinned against the boards. Loose puck picked up by Rick Chell. Rick Chell fighting through the check. Has it in the corner. Back to the top of the point. Skills plays it down low. Quick touch passing here from Eclipse in the offensive zone. Nice job to open up a lane for Rick Chell. High slot. His clapper into the glove hand of Sorokin. And he'll hold that for the faceoff. Big save there for Sorokin. So he's going to have to be big in this later stages of this game. And we haven't seen a ton of Gilly yet. He's been pretty quiet, which I have a feeling won't stay like that for long. Chance right there from the faceoff. Turned away Rick Chell with an opportunity. Now here goes Nasty quickly into the offensive zone. Nasty working his way out of the corner. Rick Chell picks his pocket, and now here go Eclipse. Skills, he jumps into the rush looking for an option. Drops it back for Gilly. Gilly, he takes a shot that gets blocked. Second opportunity off into the corner. Puck played to the top of the point where Skills gives it back to the half wall. Gilly receiving the pass. Top of the point now for Stammer. Stammer, he hammers one through, and oh, that one just trickled wide after Sorokin got a big piece of it with his blocker. Kovalchuk, his long stretch pass picked off by... Stammer as Eclipse bring it into the zone only for a moment. Loose puck collected at center ice by Stammer. Approaching the midway mark of the third period as we're still tied 1-1 here between ground and pound and Eclipse as you're tuned in to the Sharks Pacific Cup presented by WD Black and hosted by Lee Gaming. And hey, remember to use the command exclamation mark giveaway in our Twitch chat thread to get entered into our contest giveaway contest and has two great chances for ground and pound the second went to nasty but he was turned away by kernsey loose puck here's a chance now for eclipse breaking in all alone rick chell oh he tried the one-handed tuck but sorokin stayed with him and kept it out great defensive play as well by grab
Raz to get back there as Rick just ran out of room on the breakaway attempt as that was a big, big opportunity for Eclipse. Yeah, I thought he went for the one-handed tuck, but Sleeves, I think you're right. I think Graz got there and lifted his stick and took the chance away cleanly. As Graz makes a good pass ahead for Delta, but he loses the puck seconds later, and now it's controlled by skills for Eclipse. 6.20 remaining in the third. They enter the zone with Stammer on the puck. Giroux one-timer, what a goal! Rick Chow with his second of the game, and Eclipse lead it 2-1 to one here in the third. Dude, great job to fire it back behind him to hit Rick as he gets his second goal, and it's a big one as that's a big crushing blow for Ground and Pound, who played pretty well in this game. Now trailing by two on two goals from Rick. And again, a great feed there from Scotty, I believe, in the middle. Uh, and again, this Eclipse team hard to contain in the offensive zone. 4.20 remaining in the third as Eclipse now lead it 2-1. Two, two unanswered goals, both coming off the stick of number 26, Rick Chell. And this is the stammer on the... I mean, you think they'd have to take advantage of the fact that their starting lineup for Eclipse isn't in. Is stammer filling in for Burt, who's you know one of the best defenders in the tournament. But Stammer has certainly done an admirable, admirable job here in the opening game of this series. We'll see if he can keep up the level of play or if ground and pound finds some weakness in his game. There's a soft dump into his corner. Picked up by Delta. He tried the wrap, but that one snuffed out as Kernsey got the pad to the post. Covey, he brought it into the zone, tried to pass over to Nasty. Now it's controlled by Rick Chell with a minute 30 left in the third. Rick Chell into the corner. Check that. That's Giroux, the puck carrier. He plays it over to Gilly. Gilly back to the top of the point for skills. We're inside the final minute of play. Shot right on. Sorokin with the save, and he'll trap that down for the faceoff. Big save here. Final minute. Game number one, guys. Again, we will play the first four games of the series tonight. And if we need more, which I have a feeling we will, we will go to tomorrow. From the faceoff, Eclipse able to hold possession in the zone. Giroux behind the net, tried to jam it in, nothing doing. Here goes ground and pound, led by Delta. Pass ahead for Spars. Nasty picks it up. Oh. Delta shot right on. Big pad save by Kernsey. They jam at it, but Kernsey holds his ground and keeps it out. Wow, we just got an out-of-town scoreboard. Trish just said that the bad guys take game one over Royalty. Royalty was a top five finish there. That's a pretty wow. big elf early on, but that one's probably going to be a long series as... Oh, there's the tying goal with 32.9 seconds remaining. Spars buries it on a juicy rebound. He tucks it in on the wraparound, and we're all tied at two. What a great play by there to stick with it. And yeah, Kern's not able to get back over to his post, and we might have overtime here. Certainly looking that way with just 25 seconds remaining in regulation. Ground and pound. Dump it in. Delta picks it up. Loose puck at the hash marks. Controlled by Eclipse. Rick Chell. He makes the pass over to Giroux. Touch far side for Gilly. Back to Giroux. 12 seconds remaining. His pass picked off by Nasty. Under 10 seconds now. Nasty. He dishes it back for Graz. Five seconds. His pass given away. We're going to overtime here in game number one of this series as a late tying goal from ground and pound. See this all square at two after regulation. Eclipse dominated that third period, but it didn't matter. It's 32 seconds left. Spars is going to hit him on the wrap attempt. Currency looked like he went down middle sitting there, wasn't able to get back over to his post. And here we go. We got OT in game number one of our first series. Only fitting that as we begin over as we begin the playoffs here in the Sharks Pacific Cup, we start game one of our feature series heading into overtime. This is big for ground and pound, I think. Absolutely. Who's your overtime hero? Uh, I will say Gilly, if it doesn't end here. Okay. <laughs> uh, Gilly and Nasty. Gilly on the puck right now. I like those picks. I'm going to go Rick Chell and Delta. As Rick Chell plays it down low for Giroux. Gilly, top of the point for skills. Fakes the shot, dishes it off to Gilly. He's looking for an option as we're in overtime here in the Sharks Pacific Cup. Presented by WD Black, hosted Oof. by League Gaming. Big shot by skills. Better save by Sorokin. Eclipse, patient in their approach here as they 
maintain puck possession in overtime. That shot from Stammer blocked as he tried to force it through. Nice recovery as he gets it to Rick Chell. Loose puck controlled only for a moment by Nasty. Does well to fight through the stick challenge, and he advances it up. As Spars, he has it stripped away by Stammer. Rick Chell back to Stammer. Skills, a bit of self-sauce to open up a lane. He spins and dishes it off as we've played five minutes here in overtime. Eclipse bringing the puck into the zone. Giroux looking for an option. Back to the point. Skills. He takes it right down oh. low. There it is! Oh my goodness! Gilly's gonna get it. Not the prettiest one, but Eclipse don't care because they take game number one, three to two in overtime. Oh, what a tough one for ground and pound. Is that just fired in from the corner and just trickled into the net? But it doesn't matter, man, as Eclipse will take game number one. And they hold off what could have been an absolute disaster into that first game as they gave up the lead with 32 seconds remaining, guys. Oh, that is a tough way to go. But nonetheless, we've got a one nothing lead for Eclipse. Short, if you could update, uh, if you could make a command uh, for the, uh, for the <clears throat> excuse me, series. we got to take a look around at the other standings. So that's the best part about where we are right now in the tournament is that every game has potential for upsets from the top 32 remaining uh, in the entire tournament. And I'm just going to take a look quickly as the night shift, as they were 26th, uh, they won game number one over hidden potential. So there's a, your first potential upset as well. Composure handled Dynasty. That's a four versus 27. Pretty easily seven to four on that one. True North with about eight seconds remaining. After Cobra Kai... You know, shot their shot. They wanted to get some revenge for their boy Huff. And it looks like True North is going to take game one, two to one there. As, uh, that, is, that is definitely a hotly contested series for sure. We've got Cohesion. They win 3-2 over the Generals. That's two versus 31. So you see, even at like, the lower end of the first round, I mean, it's still very close games. Nemesis versus Freedom. Nemesis, the 15th seed versus 18th Freedom. That's a 3-2 game for Nemesis. So another one-goal game. A lot of one-goal games. Sweaty early on, I feel. Uh, day <laughs> one. Day one loses to LFG by a score of 2-1. to one. So Nuge and friends are down in their series. one nothing. The Bad Kids. That is a 25 seed against number three Royalty. They are now up three, or sorry, one game to nothing in that series for the bad kids. As I roll along here, Ice, they upset Denial. That's 22 Ice versus 14 Denial by a score of 4-2. to two. As we go along near the last few, we've got the or Nationals taking on Kangaroo Court. That's a 4 nothing win for Nationals in game one. And we'll wait and see if we give you an update on the other series, guys. But real quick, we are going to hear from our sponsor, WD Black. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back with game number two. Guys, welcome back here to the Shark Pacific Cup presented by WD Black. I'm No Sleeves. He's Nico. We just saw game number one of Eclipse versus Ground and Pound. Eclipse blowing the lead late there uh, with 32 seconds remaining. But nonetheless, Eclipse somehow gets it done in overtime as Gilly, the leading scorer of the entire tournament, is able to throw probably his ugliest goal of the season as that was from behind the goal line in the corner boards, and it somehow bounced off Sorokin and in the net. A tough way for ground and pound is, again, obviously I think they are the underdogs, whether it's a very big margin, probably not, but still, um, you know, a very, very tightly contested series, and I mean, that, that first game just kind of proves it, as we did see um, 
an overtime in that first one. So uh, what did you notice in that first game that kind of maybe surprised you or stood out? Yeah, you know, I, I was really impressed with ground and pound. Uh, when you look at some of the stats between these teams, on paper, Eclipse is definitely the stronger, more efficient team. But ground and pound really stayed with them. And if you think about that second period of play, ground and pound really had momentum and dictated the pace of game there in the second period. Obviously, it kind of got away from them when Rick Chell put those two goals in. But to see them battle and then tie it up late, I mean, great job by Spars. No quit in that guy because he stays with it. And even though it's a heartbreaking loss in overtime, I think they're probably feeling okay. You know, they, they obviously would have preferred to have the win there in game number one. But I think they can look on that performance and say, we were right there with those guys. And if maybe we get one lucky bounce our way, then we get the win instead of a loss. So uh, I was definitely impressed with ground and pound. I guess the question is, can they keep this up over a seven-game series against a team like Eclipse when, uh, again, you look at guys like Gilly and Rick Chell and even Kernsey and Nett. I mean, th these guys are just a bit better than ground and pound, and I do think that over the course of the seven-game series, we will see Eclipse move on. No, absolutely. I, I, I agree with you. I think Eclipse is still obviously in the driver's seat here. I'm excited to see this second game because like I said, going into game number one, I think if Ground and Pound's going to have any shot in this series, they've got to win one of the first two. I don't think going down 2 and especially you have to think, I'm not sure what the scheduling uh, you know, issues were or if he's going to be available. But if Bird is able to come in tomorrow, if this series goes more than four games, you know, while Stammer played very good in that, for, I mean, we didn't even really say his name, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that. You know what I mean? On the back end, he didn't really have to do too much, and I think that Eclipse really controlled time of possession as well. Other than that second period where uh, Ground and Pound got their one goal, I thought that they played great in that first like 12 minutes of that second period. But outside of that, um, as okay, never mind. Stammer is the new starter. All right, there you Rick. Go. Okay, sure. I mean, playoffs are abound. You're, you know, one of your. Okay, fair enough, man. That's why I'm here and you're there. So great job. I mean, Rick Rick didn't bury on the breakaway, and I can I can I know that he could hear it in the back of his mind. Maybe he's not listening to the broadcast, but he knew I was gonna chirp him for not breaking it, not scoring on that breakaway. Immediately comes back with two goals. He played a great game, Rick. I'm excited to see what you guys do in game number two, guys. We are about to get underway. It did get poked. That was a great play by Graz to get all the way back. Um, so. Uh, but nonetheless, man, we are ready for game number two. I think this is a huge game for ground and pound if they're going to have a shot in this series. I think having to go and come back and win four or five against Eclipse is going to be awfully tough. And again, we saw that they were able to control the play. Defensively, though, we'll see if Eclipse... I thought that, you know, the zone entries were really easy for ground and pound in, you know, yes. what, we, what we've come become accustomed to with a really, really defensive play that from a lot of the other top teams. I thought that the ground and pound's the zone entries were pretty easy for... Um, you know, against Eclipse, but we'll see what happens. Is again, a lot, both these teams have great wingers, uh, and uh, you know, I'm excited to see how this plays out. As guys, we are ready for game number two. Here we go. We're gonna go from Ricky Stick's point of view, and it is game number two between Eclipse and Ground and Pound, guys. And Eclipse leading the series one to nothing. All right, so here we go. Let's get you set for game number two. As the teams will stay in the same jerseys as game number one. So ground and pound in the white jerseys and Eclipse in the blue and yellow of the Trey Corner as we get set for game number two. Eclipse taking the opening game in this best of seven series, edging out ground and pound in overtime with a three to two scoreline. As here we go, can Eclipse take a two nothing lead in the series or will ground and pound square it all up at one? Let's find out. As we're tuned into the Sharks Pacific Cup presented by WD Black and hosted by Lee Gaming. Huck brought into the zone. Ground and pound with the early shot right on, but Kernsey there for the save. And we have the reverse views, guys. So we are looking from Eclipse's point of view in this one, but a nice save early from Kearns. As Giroux facing off against Nasty. One back to Stammer as Eclipse will start out of their own zone. Skills advances it up as Gilly working the right wing. Across the line and it's turned over as ground and pound start to bring the puck up through the neutral zone area. Turned over. Here's a potential break for 
Eclipse as it's jammed in front, but nothing doing there. Long Omaha play as we've got a man streaking up. Draw pass back. Big save by Kernsey. End to end chances. Both goaltenders looking sharp here in game number two. Great save on Delta as that bounced right back out to him. Passed out in front. A huge save from Kearns as ground and pound putting on the offensive pressure here early. Delta picks up the loose puck from the faceoff, passes it to Spars. His shot turned away by Kernsey. Digging away for it, it'll be Eclipse picking up the puck. Rick Chell, he dishes back to Stammer. Stammer carrying it across center ice. Makes the pass over to Rick Chell. Giroux into the zone, stripped off his stick by Covey. And now Nasty carries it ahead. Good pass ahead, Spars brings it in. Nothing doing there. There's a chance as it's turned away. Nasty with the shot, but a good save by Kernsey. Skills, he brings it ahead now for Eclipse. Gilly across the blue line looking for an option. Puck on a string, Gilly still carrying it. Dishes it over to the far corner where Rick Chell picks it up. Rick Chell feeds it right in front, but Sorokin jumps on it and holds it for the faceoff. Yeah, and same kind of thing we saw in that second period. Ground and Pound getting some chances, but not being able to bury them here. You know Eclipse is going to get there, so it's just tough when you're the underdog in a series and not able to bury on those couple early chances. Here we go again. Here's a potential chance for ground and pound. They bring the puck in, Maybe. try to draw it back in front as Spars was set up in front of the net for the one tee, but they never fed the pass through. Rick Chell, he tries to control the puck. It's poked away. Kovalchuk plays ahead as Delta Slays tried to work some magic. Nothing doing, and now it's controlled by Eclipse, led by Stammer. Ten and a half minutes remaining in the first as Skills has it poked off his stick. Raz, the puck carrier for GNP. He spins back at center ice and it'll hammer a long slapper in as out of the corner. It's picked up here, jamming it at, at it was nasty and it's up and out of play. We saw back in just a few possessions ago, again, ground and pound just going for that extra pass and they had a shot, clear shot at the net and trying to go for one more to the back door to, to Delta and it didn't go. I think that, you know, again, trailing in the series, you gotta be careful, it's a nice tip Ooh. there. Great chance from the point as I believe it was redirected just in front and Kernsey able to make the pad save. Nice work here by ground and pound. Big hit at the blue line, knocks Giroux off the puck and now here goes GNP. It's stripped away by Stammer as it's controlled by Gilly. Gills pays bills, the puck carrier for Eclipse brings it across center ice, dumps it off to Stammer, Gilly into the zone as he plays it behind the net for Rick Chell around the boards. Top of the point, Stammer with six and a half minutes remaining in the first. One-timer, big save by Sorokin. He anticipated that beautifully, slid over, and made a 10-bell save. Big save there, as he hasn't really been tested yet in this one, a big one there. It's again 0-0 early on in game number two. As you're tuned into the Sharks Pacific Cup presented by WD Black, hosted by Lee Gaming. Loose puck shot out through center ice where it's controlled by ground and pound as Covey gives it away. Here goes Gilly into the zone. Tries to draw it back, nothing doing. Kept in only for a moment by Eclipse as Skills tracked over to make the play and now he's got the puck once again. Gilly across the line, stripped away. Graz holds it for GNP. Good bank pass ahead for Delta as Nasty comes in to take control. Spars. Makes the pass over, looking for an option, top of the point. There's a shot right on, and Kernsey with the save with traffic in front of him. Nice shot there. Again, weak one, though, but able to get it tipped on. And ground and pound doing what they did in that first game where they took a lot of shots. Uh, you know, again, they are looking for that extra pass for that perfect one, but when they aren't, they're taking some shots on net just to try and test Kernsey. Not a bad idea here. Skills pays bills, carries it ahead, drops it back for Stammer. Gilly working the right wing into the corner, looking for an option. Off the half wall, plays it back to the top of the point. The one-timer blocked, never made it on net. 90 seconds remaining in the first period. Still scoreless in game number two between ground and pound and Eclipse as Eclipse lead this series one to nothing. Here goes Skills pays bills. Gilly, he picks it up. 28 seconds remaining. They try jam it. Delayed penalty here against ground and pound. As he clips, Stammer, his shot. Oh, what a beauty! He snipes it top shelf. And the utility Stammer gets Eclipse the one nothing lead. Apparently, new starter Stammer. As he waits everyone out for that lane, you could legit watch him just stare at that shot for the net. Finally, everyone kind of parted the sea. And then he decided to rip one home, able to pick the corner and a big goal. And again, 
it, the time on attack was in uh, Eclipse's favor, but I thought that Ground and Pound had the better, you know, the, the, the more more opportunities to actually score in that one, but Kernzy came up big, and then in the final seconds, you know, Stammer able to pick it from the point, essentially. A great job for Eclipse and a GMP in a big hole right now. Absolutely a tough spot for Ground and Pound. They outshoot Eclipse 7-2 to two in the period, but it's Stammer. The defenseman, the new starter who didn't score a single goal in the regular season, but he's got the lone goal in this game to give Eclipse a 1 0 lead as we get set to begin the second period of play. You're tuned into the Sharks Pacific Cup presented by WD Black and hosted by Lee Gaming. Great chance right off the hop from Rick Chell, turned away by Sorokin. If you're ground and pound, you cannot afford to give up the next goal. As the puck picked up here by Kovalchuk, skating it out across the blue line, stripped away. Rick Chell, good lead pass for Gilly. He's got a couple defensemen there on him, so he draws back to the point for Stammer. Skills from the hash marks, takes it into the faceoff dot, makes the pass over to Gilly. Gilly spinning around in the offensive zone, top of the point for Stammer. He lays that one off, and then the subsequent pass from Giroux picked off. Here goes. Eclipse, excuse me, ground and pound as they bring it down low. Trying to jam at it was nasty. He nearly tucked it in, but that time, Kernsey gets to the post and keeps it out. Skills. He can't gain the zone clearly. Here goes Spars. He makes the pass over as Giroux makes the pass to Delta. Back. Oh, what a goal. Tick tock toe. It's buried by Nasty, and we're all tied up at one. Great goal there. I believe that was Delta on the goal, able to finish off that play, and they get back into this 1-1. And again, these guys, no one's had a two-goal advantage yet in any of these games. Again, they tightly contested. One continues as Delta's had a great series so far early on. And good correction, it was Delta who gets the tying goal. And now here go ground and pound once again, led by Delta. His shot, that one blocked in front. They keep the puck in the zone at the point. It's now with Sparse. His shot attempt blocked. Second chance, he puts it high and wide. Down low behind the net, battling away for it. It's uh, Giroux who comes away with it for Eclipse as Stammer carries it out across center ice. Approaching the midway mark of the second period, we're all squared up at one in game number two of this best of seven playoff series between Eclipse and ground and pound. As Gilly behind the net makes the pass over to Skills. Pinching in from the point, he loses possession. Covey goes cross ice, nice pass over to Spars, but his pocket picked by Stammer. Spars quickly gets it back as Delta on the puck. He a bit of a, a leg. Technical, yeah, technical difficulty waiting to see if Rick comes back here. All right, there we go. There we go, catching up to play and